Hello everyone, in our today's quick tutorial I'm going to talk about Consensus. It's AI powered app. Uh, the, the website, the domain name is consensus.app. You can find it in the description as well. It uses the, the corpus, the database of the Semantic Scholar. Maybe you already watched my video tutorial about Semantic Scholar. That is the free AI tool and but this also used the the corpus the article corpus of that but it it provides many other features that you cannot find it on on the semantic scholar so this is the very simple interface of the consensus and this search bar i have a premium account here premium access to all features but when you sign up you will have free account with a limited number of credits which you can do some stuff so let us test it my question is ready does climate change impact human migration so this is uh, yes uh, this question can be answered with yes or no so i will show you why that is important of course our question shouldn't be always like that but if i so here it is automatically turned but in your free plan, maybe also with your premium plan, it is not always turned. You can turn it. In my case, it already turned on. So what does it do? It, it basically gives me a very quick summary of the 10 papers it already analyzed and also consensus method. This is an interesting one because it says it analyzed 17 papers and tries to find answers to my question, does climate change impact human migration here, as you can see. So 76% of the articles, the, the 17 papers, it anal the consensus analyzed. So basically 76% of those papers says yes, the authors uh, agree that the climate change impact human migration. And 24% says possibly. In this case, it is uh, 0%. So no one says that it doesn't affect. So everyone either says yes or possibly yes. But we can have the questions, does coffee, let's say, impact anxiety, for example, that let us use the sample question there. Again, you can see it gives us very quick summary, analyzed 10 papers, and this time it analyzed 14 papers. So I don't know how it defines the number of papers that it needs to analyze to answer those questions. It is maybe in the algorithm of the, the consensus. But this time we have different answers. We have 79% yes, 14% possibly, 7%. But this question is different. So does coffee impact anxiety? So it could be good, specifically if you are doing, uh, you are just starting your literature review, it could be, it can give you some uh, direction in the beginning. But we should uh, cons always consider that the number of papers analyzed for this consensus method is very limited, only 14 papers. Of, of course, thousands of papers are there and we should be, uh, we should mind that. Before continuing our tutorial, I want to inform you about our webinar, which we conducted together with Professor Leonard Nake. Now it is available. The recording of this webinar is available for everyone. You can check the link in the description. You can check the website where we covered different strategies, tactics and methods, how we can leverage the power of AI tools for academic processes. And we also covered with clear use cases, different AI tools there. Please check the link in the description. Here Copilot also writes a very brief uh, summary let's say for us it for, for writing this i think maybe this is the exact same 10 papers and it gives us the the links the sources if we click on them it takes us this source and it also provides a concise answer based on this specific paper here you can also see the publishing house the name of the author the citations and also the published year you can save it you can cite it here and also you can share it and I, I also want to show you the some filters that it has the filters basically you can adjust the years you can adjust the methods here uh, on the methods like meta analysis the systematic review when you select it, it the the it will provide only those articles that is 
done through systematic review and also you can check out the features but i must say these features the study types the methods are requires the credits but with only 20 credits i don't know how many times you can select or you can use them you can check it by yourself but with a premium version you can use them as much as you want unlimitedly and journals you can select the the quartile rating and you can click this i small i button here to understand what that does mean and then domains you can select of course the discipline that you are doing your research so this is basically consensus i think it has some good features but i always recommend uh, using ai tools carefully i mean carefully never rely on only one tool i never do that i i really do like to use couple of ai tools together with other ai tools or even with conventional methods like trying to find articles with uh, google scholar for example as i said uh, this consensus also uses the database of the semantic scholar for example if you do a research on the google scholar and semantic scholar so basically on consensus you will get different results that, that at least check the very first 10 articles you will find that they are not exactly the same so each tool has its own algorithm and delivering articles based on those algorithms that they have so each time it is always but it is useful because having more tools means you can have maybe access to more papers always use them wisely so if you like this video please hit like button that will be very helpful and thank you very much in advance for that and if you like more videos please subscribe to my channel that will be helpful as well and you can see more videos from my channel in the future